That's O Biology from the Freaky Friday musical. Now, biology can seem like one of those really long, big courses for the Leaving Cert with a textbook that is over 144 pages long. But there are ways of concentrating the knowledge from the different units in the course down into segments that you can recall come exam time. Andrew Cusson is biology teacher with the Dublin Academy of Education. Andrew, let's begin briefly with the format of biology paper one. Uh, sorry, the uh, biology paper. Break it down for me. Um, so there are three sections in total today, biology paper. So section A, B and C. Section A is predominantly our short questions. Um, section B is our experiment based questions. And then section C is what we call our long questions. In terms of the marks, section A is worth 100 marks in total, which will be 25% of the overall grade. Section B, the experiment, is uh, 60 marks in total, which will be worth uh, a total of 15% of the overall grade. And then the remaining marks, 240, will go towards section C, the long questions. So in section A, you have seven short questions and you do five of those questions. Correct. Just what kind of typical areas are covered in those that so section? We're fortunate with biology. There is a certain setup for each section as to what questions will come from what units. So for section A, you should expect two questions from unit one, two questions from unit two, two questions from unit three, and then one additional question that was added in during COVID, which can come from any of those units. So that can really narrow down your study time uh, and kind of allow you to focus on certain areas um, to achieve top grade. Okay, and then section B is the experiment section worth 60 marks. Uh, You're answering two out of three questions here. Yes, so for the experiment based questions, they're usually broken up into two sections themselves. So a part A and a part B. Part A is predominantly theory based, which will usually be linked in with the experiment. And then for part B, it's really knuckling into the experiments themselves. Just like with section A, there are certain experiments that come up with each question. Um, so, for example, with the first uh, question for the experiments, it's usually uh, linked with the food, ecology chapters and uh, the microscope. Um, on to the next question, then um, it kind of explores more of the enzyme experiments. Um, again, we need to remember there's four enzyme experiments, so it takes up quite a lot there. Um, you've got your photosynthesis experiments and you also have respiration and osmosis. And then finally, for the last question, it's linking with a lot more unit tree based uh, experiments. So you're taking a look at yeast, some of your plants, your dissections. Uh, so these are some of the key areas that uh, come up typically in this section. OK, so is there some bankers there that you think will come up then? or um, There are some experiments that we're kind of leaning more towards this year. So, for example, um, we're thinking that food hasn't really appeared in a while, which is a really nice handy experiment because it's something you'll have looked at at junior cycle level. And it's quite familiar when you look, come back to take a look at it at senior cycle. Um, osmosis is another one that's kind of it's due to make its appearance in this section. Photosynthesis um, and again, ecology. So these are kind of areas that you maybe could focus a bit of your study towards. Obviously, no guarantees, but um, there are areas that have been absent in this section in the last number of years. But fortunately, with this section, because we know exactly what experiments come up in each question, mm. you can really narrow down your study, which means it will make it much easier for when you are studying the course overall. OK, then section C is the longest section. It's the big section, 240 marks here. Yes. Break it down for me. How do you approach it? So people get very anxious when they hear long questions. And one of the advice I always give my own students and to any student is, Biology is not looking for long answers. It's always short, concise answers straight to the point. Um, you only have to give maybe one, two word answers for most questions. On the odd time, you might have to give more of a description. Um, if it asks like describe or outline or give an account, you might have to write a couple of sentences, but not that much. Uh, keep it straight to the point. The examiner isn't looking for too much waffle. Um, clear, concise points is all you need to obtain your top mark in this area. For the section C itself, just like section A, there are certain units that come up with certain questions. You should expect one long question um, from unit one. That's typically ecology. Uh, from unit two, you should expect two questions. We expect genetics each year and then we usually expect maybe photosynthesis and respiration or enzymes. Um, and then the unit three will take up at least three questions. And then there's been a, an additional question that was added in for COVID again, and that can come from any of the three units. That's like why I loved biology. Short, short simple answers there. Yeah. Um, talk to me about timings for the exam. How long should you be spending on each question? So with section A, my recommendation is six minutes per 
question. Um, and that should give you optimal time. For section B, I recommend anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. And then for the final um, section, section C, 30 minutes per question. The rule of thumb is if it's worth three marks, which nearly every question will be worth in, in trees, um, divide it by two. And that tells you how many um, minutes you should be spending on each question. Um, fortunately, with biology, timing isn't ever a major issue. Um, so most students get the opportunity to answer additional questions and I highly recommend you do that because your best answered questions is what will go towards your final grade. So say in section eight, like they're only looking for five questions, but you can answer all seven, seven Absolutely. questions. Absolutely. And a lot of students would tri- typically try to answer all seven questions. They'll try to answer all experiment questions and as much as they can from the long questions. And even if you don't know the answer to every question, I would still recommend giving it a go because you could pick up marks um, and again, that could help go towards your final grade. And definitions are very important in biology, aren't they? Yes, unfortunately, you still have to learn off definitions. Now, there are certain keywords they are looking for. Um, if you have those keywords in there, you will absolutely pick up um, your marks for it. Um, so just be careful to make sure you're looking at the previous marking schemes, looking for exactly what they have asked and what they've been looking for in those marking schemes to get your marks. You should expect definitions to make up about 15 to 20 percent of the overall grade. Okay. Um, so it is quite a lot, but a lot of definitions are quite short. So there is no need to learn really long ones, quite short, keep to the keywords and you'll be good to go. Uh, you have a tip on diagrams as well. People dr- tend to draw them too small. Yes, absolutely. And I'm constantly saying this to my own students as well. Diagrams need to be big, draw them half a page um, okay. it does not need to be the most artistic pieces. We're not looking for fantastic drawings. We're just looking for, you know, a brief outline of what something might look like. For example, if you're asked to draw the digestive system, they're going to be looking for the mouth. So draw something that resembles a mouth, something that resembles the stomach, something that resembles the intestines, but does not need to be perfect. Labels are the most important components. Okay. So clearly label your diagrams and that's where the marks will be going towards. OK, so diagrams, half a page, clearly labelled. Um, you know, I asked Jean there about what's the revision schedule looking like between now and the actual exam. What are you recommending to your students? So that we they still do? have lots of time, which is great. My biggest recommendation to students is really knuckle down on unit one and unit two. Some of the topics I know are not students' favourites, but unit one and unit two collectively uh, can get you a H3 grade in the Leaving Cert if you really answer those questions well. So that's definitely your priority. Uh, when taking a look at revision schedules, focus on your exam paper questions, take a look at marking schemes and keep doing that and repeat. So start with the 2024 papers, take a look at the deferred as additional papers and make your way back as far as 2004. The questions are repeat it um, it, they ask the same questions over and over so the more practice you have in doing the questions the easier that exam will be in, in preparation for your own study and I asked you there about diagrams I should have asked you is there certain diagrams that you think people should definitely definitely focus and not drop you know put to one side um, I like there's, there's a lot of diagrams that can come up in the course and um, some years there's more than others it just depends um, plants is something that I would definitely keep an eye on this year plants often come up in the section C as part of the exam and can appear in section A as well as an experiment uh, be careful that you know the dicot stem and you can compare that with the structure of a monocot stem um, those kind of diagrams are essential and definitely ones uh, worth looking over during your study and I understand that enzymes come up every single year Yes, absolutely. Enzymes, they, they absolutely love enzymes because they you need them for everything. So you should expect to see experiments coming up. Um, there's four of them. They come up as the second question in the um, experiment. They can also appear in section C and in section A. So it's definitely something you want to focus on and be prepared to answer because you should expect to see enzymes on the paper. Brilliant. Andrew Cousin there of Dublin Educa- Academy of Education. Thank you so much.